Shalom brothers and sisters. Um, I wanted to continue on with my series. Um, um, the, I'm reading from Yahua Yahusha Nazarene version of the BYNB. Um, we are in part five of Koheleth Ecclesiastes. So we're in Ecclesiastes five on page 779 if you want to follow along. Guard your steps when you go to the house of Elohim, or G-O-D, and draw near to listen rather than to give the slaughtering of fools, for they, they do not know that they do evil. Do not be hasty with your mouth, with the words you speak, and let not your heart hurry to bring forth a word before Elohim, for Elohim is in the Shamayim and you on the Eretz. Therefore, let your words be few. Know when to speak and when to keep your mouth shut. Um, for a dream comes through the greatness of the task and a fool's voice is known by his many words. When you make a vow to Elohim, do not delay to pay it. For he takes no pleasure in fools. Pay that which you have, have vowed. It is better not to vow than to vow and not pay. Do not allow your mouth to cause your flesh to sin, nor say before the messenger of Elohim that it was a mistake. Why should Elohim be wroth at your voice and destroy the work of your hands? For in much dreaming and many works, there is futility. But fear, Elohim, if you see brut brut brutality to the poor and denial of justice and uprightness in, in a province or a state, do not be astonished at the matter or surprised. For a, high, for a higher than the high is guarding and there are higher ones over them. And the increase of the land is for all. The sovereign himself, or the president or leader, um, is served from the field. And he who, who loves silver is not satisfied with silver. Nor he who loves wealth and increase. That too is futile. Um, with the increase of goods, there is an increase of those consuming them. What advantage then is there to their owners, but to look on? Sweet is the sleep of a laborer when he eats little or much, but the plenty of the rich does not let him sleep. There is a sickly evil I have seen under the sun, riches kept for their owner for his evil, like the elites. But those riches perish through evil use. And he brings forth a son, and there is nothing in his hand. His hand is empty. And he came naked from his mother's womb, so he returns to go as he came. And from his labor which goes into his hand, he takes none whatsoever. And, to, and this too is a grievous evil. Exactly as he came, so he goes. And when... And what gain has he since he toiled for the wind? All his yeomen he also eats in darkness. And with much sorrow and sickness and wrath, see what I have seen. It is good and pleasant for one to eat and drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor, all his work. In which he toils under the sun all the yeomen or the days of his life, which Elohim gives him. For it is his portion. Further, when Elohim has given any man riches and wealth and permitted him to enjoy them and to receive his portion and rejoice in his labor, this is a gift of Elohim, a gift of Yahuwah. Though it not much, though it not be much, let him remember the yomim or days of his life, because Elohim bears witness by the gladness of his heart, the happiness of his heart. Okay. Yeah, I know that was a short one, guys, but um, I 
I have a few things to do today and I just wanted to um, pray with you guys and bless you, bless you all. I love you all. I pray in the name of Yahuwah of the Shamayim that all of my Nazarene family and that that they're all in good health and that their their cup overflows and that they are continually blessed. Baba Yah. And I pray that that the truckers in Canada they succeed with getting our freedom back. And I pray that the newcomers to my channel will seek and and find the truth and seek and look and f knock at the door and search for Yah and search for truth. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I pray. Amen. I love you guys. Bless you all. Shalom.